This video could really change your whole vibe. How do you do a makeup look, but then create magnetism and mystique? How do you create an undercurrent in your style that draws people into your feminine energy? Hi, I'm Alexandra, and I'm so excited to explore the idea and the concept of the feminine essence. This is a level up once you've tried all the makeup looks and all the shirts, all the jeans, but you want more magnetism and you haven't quite found your confidence or your groove. This video is for you. Welcome to Angel Essence and welcome to the world of womanly. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't, give it a thumbs down. Think of an essence as, well, rather than taking inspiration from a celebrity's outfit, for example, you're taking inspiration from ancient feminine energies. And they all have different makeup and hair and even physicalities, but most important, each of these essences has something to teach us and inspire us as women to feel really confident. Now, the difference between just doing an angelic makeup look versus an essence, we're gonna embody more than just the makeup or hair. We're going to combine poise, makeup, hair, and demeanor so that our beauty can be sensed beyond just the eyes. It's kind of like a nice way of saying there are things you can do that would really ruin this look. I don't care how nice something looks. The thing with the essence is that we're creating follow through. So if you look really nice, but you treat people poorly, that's not really going to make you look or feel more beautiful. So the first thing that can really ruin this essence is sarcasm. Now, sarcasm is really just anger masked with humor, and this is not going to work. The angel is honest and gentle, but has a lot of boundaries. When she feels angry, she's honest about that, and that's something that allows her to have a lot more love in her heart. Now, naturally, gentleness wasn't really something that I thought would belong to me because I've had a lot of defensiveness in my nature, and I always thought it was part of my personality, but as I started to look at boundaries, and creating more of them, taking care of my needs, and asking myself what is important to me in this moment, I've been able to start resolving some of my negative feelings, and now I'm able to come back to a place of peace and happiness. And one of my favorite things to do when I feel really negative is just to take a shower. It helps cleanse you spiritually as well as physically. The second thing that doesn't fit with this essence is sloppiness. This could be in your behavior, but also just stains on your shirt or wrinkles in your clothes. You wanna be effortless and ethereal and these things don't belong. And perhaps most important of all, crude fashion. Anything that's like too tight, too low, or has something that just looks a bit like too much, it just doesn't work. Now stay tuned for the whole video because we're going to start with hands right now, but we're going to take this a little further and move into poise and demeanor after the skincare portion. So the first thing that's important is the nails, but also grace in the touch, meaning movement as well. If you're not careful, it's likely that you go and grab for things really aggressively and harsh, but try and practice using your hands in a more gentle and flowing way. This takes time to learn and it doesn't have to be mechanical, but it really pairs beautifully with a nice manicure. Now, most importantly for this essence, the nails are clean. Even if the nails just have a clear top coat, they need to be clean. And I use a little brush underneath my nails since they're extra long. It's important there's nothing underneath and that they look fresh all the time. And removing all of the hangnails around the edges of the nail is going to make the hands look manicured and well taken care of, which is really important because when you think about it, an angel isn't really from the earth. So the angel wouldn't really show any signs of earthly wear. Now I'm gonna be using a sheer polish and I love this because you can't really make a mistake. It's so sheer and milky, so it adds a little bit of something but keeps it really natural and easy. Once your nails are dry, add some hand cream because this is making them so beautiful and lovely to touch. Now when you think about being more graceful and kind of using your hands in a more soft and loving way, the best way to practice this over time is to practice a sense-oriented touch. The number one reason it's difficult to act or move gracefully is because we're out of touch with the senses and we're living only through the mind. When you're applying body cream, rather than spacing out, start to connect with what your hands are touching and feel what your fingertips feel. This will increase your sensuality as well as your feminine energy. Oh, and thumbs up if you're enjoying the video so far. Now for the hair. I'm gonna go out of my comfort zone today. Freshly washed hair calls for fresh styling and instead of using a hot tool, I'm gonna to embrace the natural texture. 
Now, I normally use a hot tool, like a curling iron, blow dryer, straightener, maybe all three. So I definitely need a ton of hydration to try and bring back and revive some of my waves. Because I had a keratin treatment, the curl pattern is completely straightened out, but when I apply enough mousse into the hair and I scrunch it, I eventually start to get back the wave that I'm looking for. So once I see that happening, it's time to take the blow dryer and start diffusing. Isn't this one so cool? Cause normally you use your hand to like scrunch and then use a blow dryer beside your hand to keep the curls intact while you blow dry. But this one does it for you basically. So if you have curly hair, this could be a really good blow dryer to own. So here's where we're really seeing an essence choice versus a practical choice. Practically, I would look at this as though I don't normally like my hair natural, so I will wear it straight. But instead, I'm really embodying the essence and I'm trying to get the value that there is to be had by doing that. And so that means I really thought about what would an angel do? An angel would really appreciate those around her and herself. She would really appreciate her natural beauty. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Now let's treat the skin. Now, washing my face is probably one of the best opportunities that I've found to connect the mind to the physical touch. Because you're touching your face, and we have to do this every single day, I do this in the morning and evening, this is a good opportunity to really feel your fingers. Don't disconnect from the feeling that's happening and think about other things. Really connect and get into your body. This can ease tension and make you feel less anxious and more at peace with everything that you have and who you are. It's very simple, but really powerful. Now, of course, an angel has baby soft skin, beautiful complexion, and so the most important thing for this is to resurface the skin often. I'm using a glycolic acid mask, and this is really good for sloughing off, not with physical movement, no exfoliation with the hands here. This is all about using chemicals that break the bond between old cells and new cells. So as you remove this, you might not notice a difference right away, but repeated every single week, your skin will become soft and even in tone and acne free just like an angel now I'm going to be using a vitamin C serum and this is going to brighten the complexion I use this every single day underneath my daytime routine this is perfect under a moisturizer I love this moisturizer by the way this one is very affordable and really good it's fragrance free so it's very powerful and it actually gets the job done I like the moisture that it gives me and I always use my knuckle to just scoop it out so that I don't get the bottle dirty but I also don't get my underneath the nail area dirty and once this is rubbed into the skin gently I'm going to apply a sunscreen which is totally clear by the way I love this sunscreen so much it's mattifying and clear and I reply all of this all over including the eyelids around the mouth and anywhere that I would want to preserve the skin from becoming dull or wrinkled use a lip balm with some SPF to keep them nice and rosy your lips I mean now, before we get into doing the makeup, I'm going to let the skincare sit in and I'm going to show you angel posture. Regardless of if you're trying to embody this essence, I really think it's important to learn specific feminine stances. Thumbs up if you guys really want me to do a video all about this kind of thing. This one is so timeless and classic and it looks good on everyone. Holding your core firm, lift one leg and put all the weight on the other, bringing your knees over top of each other. This is the kind of beginner's way to do a pose and it looks like a pose, but the more advanced way is to keep those knees together, but bring the feet side by side. Now you're going to drop your hip and this ultimately creates a very curvy looking figure. And that's a really cool look in photos, but also when you're just standing in a room, get used to moving in this position. So start moving your feet slowly, use your hands gracefully and keep your core tight so that you look very poised while you're doing it. The more you practice, the more natural it appears. Just like Marilyn Monroe was well-trained, her muscle memory for this posture was incredible and it allows you to use it anytime you feel the need and you'll be surprised how often you feel the need to use this. If you can develop poise to where your body speaks, even when your mouth is shut, you're going to find that you feel and look more feminine. Now, let's get into the makeup. The truth is that we're so much harder on ourselves and when we look at our face, most of the time we see the, f the things we don't like, ultimately. And the most important thing with this essence, our imperfections aside, is that we're radiating gratitude and love for ourselves. So we're going to use that as the core of this look and we're not going to focus on altering or changing anything. We're going to step into a loving attitude, being really grateful to be alive and to have the face that you have and the features that you have. 
apply half of the amount of foundation you normally would to the center of the face and stretch it out towards the edges. Make sure that it looks seamless. Okay, so the angel technically doesn't really know about makeup trends or altering the face with highlight and contour. So all we're going to do is take a matching concealer color and use it around the darker parts of the eye and set it all with a powder. Using a stippling brush and a soft mauve color, this is really pretty for the cheeks. I'm going to blend this until it's blurred at the high points of the cheeks, and I put a little bit on my nose and my forehead as well, and then topping it with a highlighter and a little bit of spray to mist it and make it more intense. This is also going to go underneath the brow bone and in the inner corner to make the eyes look like they're glowing. Now if you are able to do it, I recommend trying this method to enhance your natural lash line. This is really easy to do once you've practiced, but it could be a little tricky at first. I'm going to curl the lashes and then apply some mascara. And what's most important about this is that the mascara is done in a way that it's not clumpy and it looks completely natural as though it's your real eyes or your real lashes. Now I'm going to take these wispy ones and apply them as close to the lash line as possible. This is what really does take some practice but once you do it properly it ends up looking like your lashes are naturally like that the makeup is so fresh and this is the kind of makeup that looks really good when you make facial expressions it doesn't just look good in a picture when you're still now when it comes to fashion i don't think you need to go out and buy anything that looks particularly angelic look in your wardrobe for natural moving fabrics they don't have to be white and look like that typical kind of angel costume they could be colors that you find flattering but as long as they have a natural movement to them, cotton, silk, any kind of viscose or anything that is really movable. Or on the other hand, natural cottons or linens that look really organic. I love this little play suit. They take your measurements on this Etsy shop and they make the play suit based on your measurements. I've always wanted to show you guys this because I love it. Uh, the only thing you really want to look out for is things that might seem angelic, like this baby blue dress it kind of looks that way but it has a newspaper print all over it which kind of gives it a negative earthly tone and same with this uh, little sweater it's pink naturally not that i would normally pick this but it's got negative wording on it so anything that has negativity or anything with sparkles or sequins that looks overly unnatural and kind of gaudy that's going to kind of ruin the look to finish the look, I'm going to add some vanilla scented body oil. This is going to give the skin hydration and a beautiful shine. Rub it in and then add some little joy pieces, things that make you happy when you catch yourself like in the mirror, little things that make you feel extra beautiful, like little pair of earrings. And for me, a little silk scarf tied around my head is one of my favorite things to do for this look. I hope you angels enjoyed this. I love you so much and I can't wait. I am currently working on Skin 101 and I'm also working on how to dress better too. So I'm so excited. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.